What's up everyone and welcome to a quick mod tutorial on NEI. So NEI is short for not enough items and what it is, is this. NEI shows you all the items that exist in the game and also a lot of things that you can do with them and how you get them. So this is going to be very important for what we're about to do. So um, one of the first, first few things you want to know about NEI is if you left click once, you will see the crafting recipe for it. So you can get wood planks by a piece of oak wood. And if you you can press backspace to go back or also escape to go back to your inventory. If you want to see what you can use it for, you press U. So you can also press R for recipe instead of just left clicking. So R and U, very important, help you figure out how you get items and what you use them for. So iron, iron, yeah. So lots of options what you can do there. And like I said, if you go, if you, and then from here, if you want to click usage on that, usage on that, you can press backspace to go back, or just escape to get out of it completely. Um, the next part is with crafting. Say you want to make a chest, what you can do is you can see all the items that are required for it. So you see that it's any kind of wood planks, and it'll, go, it'll switch between all the ones that you can use, so all wood planks can be used the same. So they can all be used to make a chest, so it's going to flip through all of them. If you hold shift, it will stop the rotating of the planks, and you can you know, take your time to scroll through them. And if what you can do is if you left click the question mark, it will give you a like ghost image of what you can do to create it. So then you can just fill it in. Or what you can do is you can go back into the recipe and you can press shift and left click and it will automatically fill in the crafting recipe for you. Then you can just craft your items. So we want to toss some of this stuff in here. And spread out because the next part is very good for uh, looking through chests. So, Say you want to find oak wood and you have a bunch of chests laying around with a whole bunch of random items in them. What you can do is you can double click and type oak or oak wood. Anything that contains oak wood will be shown here because you're searching for it and your inventory will be grayed out. Same with chest, it will be grayed out except for anything that contains oak wood. So oak wood planks and oak wood, both highlighted, cobblestone not so much. So quick easy way to search through all your chests if you need to. Another thing I should mention is NEI as these NEI subsets at the top. You can scroll down through these and it will, it's just another way to sort through all your items instead of searching. So if you want to just look at a mod, say you just want to see all the items in big reactors, you can just click big reactors and boom. There you go. Then you just gotta double click again to pull it off, I believe. There we go. Alright, then when it comes to machines, what you can do is whenever you have the a machine, you, whenever you look at the bar here, a lot, of, a lot of them do this, I know like thermal expansion, and a lot, a lot of the other ones do, most of them do in FTB. If you left click where it says recipes, you can scroll through all the recipes that this machine can do. So, quickly see what it can pulverize, so there's lot, lots and lots of recipes, 77 pages, so another way to use it. Um, so the next part is the options for NEI, so NEI has several options that you can do here. Um, a lot of this is for single player, you don't sync. so you can change from recipe mode to utility mode to cheat mode. If you're in single player, you're going to have to go to global and override all these, use the global settings to enable you to do this. If you're in on a server, all you have to be is OP and you're able to do this. But anyways, with utility mode, well we were just in recipe mode, in utility mode you'll get these extra these utilities here at the top. Um, you can enable and disable these if you want, you know, make them up here. See. Uh, if you're in cheat mode, you get the utilities plus the ability to cheat item in. So if I were to left click, I get a stack of stone. If I right click, I get just one stone. So that's when you want to use R if you want to see recipe if you're in cheat mode. So that's how you do that. You also get the ability to save bars. So actually, if I want to give myself a whole bunch of random items here, and I click save, if I were to get rid of these, actually, let's use the delete mode and just turn that on, left click all those. If we load the first one, you'll see that we now have all that again. So that's what the delete does and also the loading. You can exit to get rid of that load. Uh, other utilities you can turn on rain, turn off rain, change your game mode, magnet mode, pick up items, change time of day so it's getting dark so it's make it noon, you can change it to nighttime, heal the player if you're, if you're hurt or you, you're hungry you can heal all that up real fast just to click. So that's mostly for cheat mode. Um, as far as game modes it does have creative plus Creative Plus is very nice because it does give you all these extra bars. So what you can do with these is, if you get a whole bunch of items, 
So you put some in this bar, put some in this bar, so whatever you're working with. Um, what you can do is if you hold control and you scroll, it'll change your hotbar through all those bars. And you get back to your first one. So that just scrolled through all these. Another thing that's good about Creative Plus is you can also see this right away as opposed to normal creative. If you're not in the survival, you, it's, it's kind of a pain, just to say the least. So it's just a lot easier, in my opinion, to be able to search the items in Creative Plus. All right, so we're going to back to survival now. So the next few things with any eye are in-world uh, things that you can do. So if you press F7, you can see on the, on the ground uh, where mobs will spawn at nighttime. So yellow means they'll spawn there at night. And if we hopefully find a place, let me hop into creative and fly around real fast. Find in a cave here. If you hold, if you see red, that means that mobs will spawn in this cave at all at any times because it's dark enough that they'll spawn. Say if I were to grab a torch, and I place it down, you'll see that these disappear. So now mobs will not spawn there because mobs cannot spawn in light. So that's a quick way to show where mobs will spawn. So if you're trying to light up your base, you can quickly find where they'll spawn where you need to add some more light. Another option that you have is F9. These are all by default, by the way. If you press F9 once, you'll see the corners of the chunks that are nearby you. If you press it again, you'll see the boundaries. So this will show you what items are what or you know the chunks, the ch where the chunks lay out. So this is very important if you need to chunk load something. So if I want to chunk load this pulverizer, I'd place a either a spot loader or anything that only does one chunk in this chunk right here. And I can quickly go between them to see, you know, where where the chunks separate. It's very helpful for, for quarries and all that. Um, also, if you have like a meteorite compass, you can see that it would be spinning in all three of these because this meteorite is contained in all four, I'm sorry, all four of those chunks. So that's F9. Very helpful for quite a few things. But I think that pretty much covers it for any eye. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, this mod overview. Um, definitely more will be coming soon. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. See you.